Now, another replay we got is the Buki. Uh, let me just see if there was any notes about it. I'm struggling to use it at full potential since I'm bad at back torping and I've been punished a lot from it. I need some advice for these type of IGN cruisers. Okay. So, what I expect this game... Where's my mouse? What I expect this game to happen is you're going to try to torp someone, you're going to give too much broadside and you're going to get blapped. We'll see. Yeah, good luck, Logan. A bit, a bit more positional. Um, like if you position better, you're gonna have a lot better results. It's not, it's not that hard. Can you analyze a replay of a dictator moderating? There's nothing to uh, analyze. <laughs> There's simply nothing to analyze. I think that says enough. <clears throat> Am I? Uh, is this your point of view? Yeah, okay. Not sure what you're doing here right now, for example. First of all, your positioning is already wrong. You shouldn't be... Like, if you were in a Salem, Des Moines, Mino, Neptune, and stuff like that, and you went here, I would understand. This is what I do. But you're in a cruiser that needs to kind of be wide and stay away. Like, you should be somewhere where the buffalo is right now, for example. Now, I do understand that there's absolutely nobody here... And by being here, you create some sort of angles. But this is not where you want to be with your IJN uh, cruiser. Okay, you're going to drop some torps. That's fine. Let's see where. I would drop it there and there. Or there and there. Okay, good. How do you send replays? Uh, on my Discord server, you have a room which is called uh, Share Your Replays. You can leave your replay, you can leave a small description, and note that it's for replay analysis. You're going in the middle of the map, by the way, with a very, very squishy cruiser that doesn't have f fast rotating turrets, it doesn't have really good torpedo angles, it doesn't have good armor, it can't bow tank, you have a hydro, sure, but... And you don't have a fast reload. You do not want to be in the middle of the map. Uh-uh. I don't know if those torpedoes are going to have range, but they could potentially do something to that room, which would be a nice start. And right now, for example, you're not doing anything. Is it not full concealment? I don't know the book is concealment. 11? Yeah, it's probably like 9 point something. So you either don't have a 10 point captain or you don't have a module. So definitely change that if you can. Add a concealment expert to both module and the captain. This is a very common mistake. I'm not sure why. Maybe you can tell me because it's your replay. I'm not sure why, but why do you people think that just because you have torpedoes on your cruiser you should be focusing primarily on your torpedoes like this is a very common mistakes mistake that a lot of players running ijn cruisers do especially like atagos and miyokos and all that stuff use your torpedoes as a surprise but don't waste your time don't waste your time on simply focusing your gameplay around torpedoes. If that's what you want to do, go play a destroyer. It's pointless to do this with a cruiser. Right now, you're risking very, very much. If they did... Actually, there is no... Oh my god, I didn't even look at the matchmaking. There is no carriers. This is a full tier 9 and there's no destroyers. Okay. 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 So if you were full concealment build, you and you are a bit crazy, you could have tried to go for some caps, for example, and that wouldn't be a bad idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of twelve ships are detected. All this time you spent here, all this time you spent here, you could have easily have gone into B and cap it. Maybe. I don't know if where the, the last two ships are, but you could have done that. Instead, you're just going forward, backward, forward, backward, and launching torpedoes. That's, that's not a lot of points. While you should be 
just sailing around here and farming this Jambard and stuff. Just saying. Gold Rhino, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the team. <clears throat> I can't because DM was in B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, like I said, two ships are still not detected. But you, you shouldn't be in this position to begin with. This is a bit of a weird matchmaking when there's no destroyers. Yeah, see, you could have done like 15 of those kind of volleys by now. You're lucky you weren't Citadel there. You have 12,000 HP, uh, 12,000 uh, damage when you could have had like between 50 and 100k by now. Oh, that potato. There's Donkey. Strength of IJN cruisers that do not lie in their torpedoes. It lies in their heavy alpha damage on HE shells and good fire chance. You smack someone for like 7, 8k and you set them on fire and you destroy some modules. They repair, you do it again. They don't repair, they just burn. Torpedoes are there just to help you surprise someone, get additional flood that you can follow up with a fire. And you, you don't play these ships to focus on, like, I'm going to torp everybody. If you want to torp, go play a DD. Cruisers are not for that. Trust me. There's far better torpedo bows than Ibuki. As cruisers, that you still don't play them as torpedo boats. You play them with guns and torpedoes secondary. The amount of risking you're doing right now for the second time by showing full broadside is insane. Plus... Your torpedoes should be, I think, 10 kilometer range. 10 or 8, I'm not sure. You got lucky again. You didn't get Citadel. That John Bard can... Can... Oh my god, you're so lucky. Okay. Finally. Finally, Rune managed to get a decent volley in. I think that was Rune. But you're lucky to be alive, dude. You could have been killed two times by now. I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna repeat myself every three every three minutes, but you shouldn't be in this position. <laughs> That's very lucky, like very lucky. From all those broadsiding positions and shells, he only got punished once. But this is very easy to fix. Like this is one of those super easy problems to fix. You simply have to change your playstyle. Focus on guns instead of torps. Don't play it stationary, play it maneuverable. Done. You would have like 100,000 damage by now. Or at least 60, 50, I don't know. Depends how, how often you would be in a position to actually shoot. And you could potentially have more HP than you have right now. You are not very useful to your team by doing this. That's the problem. You always have to, you ha you always have to ask yourself... What I'm doing right now, how am I actually contributing to the victory? Or am I waiting for my team to do something then which I can just maybe follow up with something? You, you really have to ask yourself, am I wasting time? Did I just spend nine and a half minutes here not doing pretty much anything? Or, or is this a really crucial, good, tactical strategical position that I can exploit and then I'm exploiting continuously. You're gonna get detected again. Daddy Buki can smack you easy. If he's got AP, he can one-shot you, which he probably doesn't. But if he had HE, he could do like 5k and a fire. No problem. See? What happened to him could happen to you. Is he dead? No, missed. Okay. As I understand IGN CAs, I stay backline at the at almost max range and maneuvering to dodge. From my experience, that is the best way. Yeah, that is pretty much the only way to play these. I don't like staying all the way in the back, but you have to with them. That's just the way to do it. I'm gonna go get a beer. I am 
looking, by the way, don't worry. Get me one too. I'm out of beer. I have one beer left and I have no Ruddlers. I have to return all the bottles and buy a bunch of new ones. Yeah, there's not really much more to say. I don't know how long this battle is gonna last. But it looks like it might be a full 20 minute battle unless you get killed. And you simply have to change your focus. Like your focus is completely wrong. You're basically trying to play this as a destroyer that, I don't know, instead of scouting, prefers to Fighter be hidden. Airborne. And you're waiting for something like this to happen. Which, sure, it's, oh, she could blow you up in one go right now. You're so lucky. You are so lucky. When things like these, when situations like these happen, yes, sure, it's nice, it's juicy, you just got instantly 50,000 damage and a kill, yes. But it took you 13 minutes to do it. Even with never scoring these torpedoes only by playing with your guns, you could have twice as much damage by now. No problem. And still, still maybe get a situation like this happening. The amount of lucky okay, moments in this battle is insane. Yeah. It's gonna be fucking hilarious if this jump bar takes its sweet time. This, this battle is actually pretty laggy. And he gets to torpedo him too. Uh, Rex Havoc, thank you for two. And Bered Hell. Bered thank you for eight. It is so nice to have the last word in the relationship. <laughs> yes, darling. <laughs> okay, that ran all oh, what a cluster fuck this is. It's so nice to have the last word in the relationship. Yes, darling. You could have probably dodged those torpedoes with slightly different maneuvering. I don't know how this battle ended, but this is a pretty, pretty big, shh, like, it's a clusterfuck. I understand that there's no destroyers, so this battle had a bit of a different um, combat rules, so to say. But still, like my advice to you would be stop playing with your torpedoes if you're a cruiser and start playing with your guns. Stay on like 15-ish kilometers and just HE spam everything. And when you do get a chance, follow it up with torpedoes. Do not broadside and get a concealment build, it's gonna help you. Yeah, I mean, it's very simple. I, I don't know what else, I don't know what else I can tell you besides this. 